वेलकम टू द फेडरल पॉडकास्ट आई एम अक्रम एसी ऑन संडे जून 9 इंडिया फेस पाकिस्तान इन द टी20 वर्ल्ड कप एट द नेसो काउंटी इंटरनेशनल क्रिकेट स्टेडियम वी टॉक अबाउट दिस ब्लॉकबस्टर क्लैश इन द प्री मैच व्हाट इज द कप आज हम सिक्स सीनियर क्रिकेट राइटर जॉइंट अप फ्रॉम एजेंट थैंक्स टॉपिक फॉर स्पीकिंग टू द फेडरल कौशिक देयर इज बीन लॉट ऑफ टॉक अबाउट द ड्रॉप इन पिचेस एंड व्हाट कैन वी एक्सपेक्ट ऑन संडे फॉर दिस बिग गेम something anything different from uh, what we have seen in napur ka there is no threat uh, remedy that suddenly these pitches will become fantastic for batting it will be a battle of attrition uh, it will be a question of who is willing to be patient to the, the kind of pitches there you might have a game plan and that game plan to all around aggression but as we have seen in the three different pitches that have been used uh, at the at the nasa county cricket stadium thus far these pitches are not really fantastic for batting you need to you, you need to grind you need to be patient you need to be willing to take knocks on your body on your hair, on your head on your shoulders uh, it, it's a question of, of courage as much as it's a question of skill and uh, given the quality of bowling that both teams possess there was a time when we used to say india pakistan was clashed between india's batting and pakistan's bowling right, right. i think that is no longer the case because india's bowling attack is, is as good as any in the world so uh, the pitches will the pitch uh, from what we hear uh, about the pitch that will be used tomorrow is the same pitch on which south africa are currently playing playing the netherlands and not uh, a tall scoring match netherlands made only 103 south africa struggled so we have been told that that is the pitch on which some of my players so i i would expect another low scoring uh, contest uh, which was in full sit now which was the next few mistakes if you like uh obviously then we will be the ones to end up uh, very excited and uh, kaushik did uh, rohit sharma say anything about the playing 11 for the game uh, i don't uh, he didn't say anything to be fair nobody asked him also because uh, unless uh, there is anything any injury or in the so on i don't really see india changing uh, the 11 that won the first game against iran it may be identified that this is the team that is going to uh, take them forward at least in this in this leg of the competition in in the united states uh, maybe there might be a case of pulled the other who does the current for given pakistan's bowling attack do you sacrifice the additional uh, batting option that you get at number 8 when you play both jareja and absar patel uh, that something they will ponder i honestly am very surprised if this will make any changes right uh, but uh, i want to ask uh, usually t20 games are usually played in the evening late evening we are used to it in india ipl games starting and international games starting after 7:00 7:30 and in this world cup we have seen all morning matches will that affect uh, batting or uh, any uh, performance for uh, in, in for the players not really a push should not because if you're looking at the morning starts here these are the 10:30 starts they're not the 9 o'clock start that you might you used to get in the one day international in india back in the time when we did not have day night cricket so yeah. 10:30 start essentially the sun comes out pretty early in the morning here about 7:30 at o'clock it's out so there is enough time for what for moisture there is to to be uh, to evaporate and because of the 10:30 start then the dew is not a big factor at all because there is no rain at all uh, the and therefore since there is not much moisture in the air you don't have much potential for swing if you look at what whatever has happened so far uh, even the 10:30 am matches and especially the matches here in new york it has been the liberal scene movement lateral movement because of the grassy decks and the fact that the bounce has been up and down very unpredictable and somewhat dangerous that is the one that has done the much of the damage not so much the swing so i do not think the, the 10:30 am start has impacted the quality of cricket as such as of course it might have played a role in people not coming to the stadium in large numbers but obviously this 10:30 am start all of india's matches are at 10:30 the semi final which uh, is in guyana which india are uh, expected to play in if they make it to the last four stage that's a day game the final in uh, bridge town is a day game uh, uh, which is unusual for a t20 tournament to have these important games in the morning but it must also remember that much of it has been uh, designed to meet the prime time audience requirement and they spoke about right. the ipl starting at 8:00 at 8:00 o'clock these matches since are starting at 8:00 pm indian time so the television audience is, is massive the crowds here have not been uh, huge and in any case you look at even the biggest stadium here in in, uh, in the united states of the three stadiums that are being used can hold 34000 people and when you compare that against the millions and millions who will watch on grand time television in india 
obviously then that that's market that dictates what time the play starts. But I don't think uh, the Delta and has had an influence on on the kind of cricket that's been dished out now. You have witnessed so many India Pakistan clashes and uh, when it comes to ICC events, India has always got the advantage over Pakistan. Well, do you say to uh, on Sunday as well? India start as favourites given their record. I know it's a new game, new pitch, new venue. So, what are your thoughts on being the favourites, India? It's it's just one of those things. How do you explain this? I mean, you hear about the World Cup next week in India and Pakistan. They dates back to 1992, and over a period of time, players have changed on both sides. The team staff has changed. The captain has changed. The style of cricket has changed. Despite all the changes, the only thing that's been constant is the result. India and Pakistan right. have played 15 times in in the two formats put together in World Cups, and Pakistan has won once. And how do you explain that? You just cannot explain it, right? Right. Uh, there is no one reason. You can say that the baggage heads up, yes, the baggage heads up, but a lot of the players don't carry that baggage because they are all newcomers. They are not. They don't have the history of. 30 years of defeats against India in the corner. So it, it is just one of those strange things in sport where there is no tangible explanation. Uh, could you like to say that yes, because India won much of the they are playing good cricket and they are playing consistently. Yes, there's one way of looking at it. But uh, like Rohit Sharma pointed out, in about 2020 form, they just come back in one hour's time. So favourites? Well, I don't know. Maybe maybe India has got a edge because of because of the fact that they are playing good cricket. They are coming up when Pakistan need to win, and sometimes when you are pushed to the corner, then things start working on your head. So maybe yes, India have a slight edge. But to call them overwhelming favourites, I don't think so. Not in this format. 